you can already see where this is going. So, I already know what you guys are about to say to me. And yes, I am sick. So, I might have to take a month off. But I will film on May. I said in the description, I will film on May. So, yeah. I don't know if it will be the middle of May or the beginning or the end of May. So, bear with me here. Because I don't know if this will uh, have a chance in action, you know. Because, like, in April, I'm going to have a lot of things, you know, being taken care of. I got to, like, you know, do some content on here. But not, like, plush content. More like this type of content, if you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah. Uh, if you already watched the video, and if not, I will have to repeat myself here. But first, let me just use the bathroom real quick. Yeah. Alright, I'm back. Surely it didn't take that long. But anyways, so uh, I may have to, you know, talk about this as of now. On June of 2026, I'm pretty sure I said this, but I'm going to have to repeat myself because I'm pretty sure I never uploaded that video. On June of 2026, I will retire. Somewhere between June 30th or June 29th. Those are the only two I can count on. Now, great to know that's two years away. So, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, that's crazy. You know, like, you have a lot of stuff to go on. Yes, I know. But I want to keep, keep the plush content more, you know. I want to I keep making more plush content for you guys. But I just... I can't, I can't keep the rails on for very long, so I'm just going to have to, like, you know, stop at some point, you know? Like, I know that Logan is not going to stop making puppet content or whatever. I know he's not going to stop that at all because I'm pretty sure he wants the revenue because he can't get a real job because he doesn't have a real diploma. But, yeah. All in all, I kind of feel like there's just not a lot of, you know substantial subversity, if you know what I mean. Besides, I want to focus on newer content and newer developments, such as real-life skits and, you know, new series I want to make myself, you know? But I don't want to, like, do this alone. I might want to do it with some other creators at some point, but I don't know if they'll agree or not. Also, as of July of 2026... I will also be selling half, yes, half of the SMLCU, you know, permission stuff or whatever. I'm going to have to sell half the SMLCU stuff to bigger companies out there. I'm going to have to sell my project to another company in order to, like, you know, keep it afloat, you know, keep it in memory. Now, the reason why I'm selling half of it is because the half I'm selling is the storytelling and, you know, the character development. The other half I'm keeping is character designing and directing. So, yeah. So, as of June of 2026 and July of 2026, not only will I retire from plush content... But I will also be selling half of my plush content to bigger companies out there. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, why am I doing this? Why do you have to do this? Well, it's because I want to make my own career. I want to have my own career that doesn't involve YouTube at all. 
of circumstance. So yeah, these uh plushies right here, they're gonna go bye bye. They're gonna go bye bye. For real. Because, like, I have a lot of better projects out there. And I really want to try them out. Plus, I've been wanting to work on, you know, an album for a while. I want to focus more on music. Because I got a keyboard right here. And I got a guitar back there. And that's pretty much all that there is. I don't want to just be a one-trick pony and keep making the plush content over and over and over again. Now, granted, though, there's going to be a lot of people that say... Oh, but we do like your plush content. Keep it up. But here's the thing, though. Even though I'm good at storytelling, I just can't keep doing it. The more I do storytelling, the less I do more about, you know, the parts that are supposed to be creativity. That's all that there is. I'm not saying I want creative freedom. I love my life. I'm just saying that when you're using creative freedom, it takes away the privilege of something greater. So, what do I mean by this? Chances are you already know. Because what Smosh did was sold their company from 2011. And it went bonkers. They had a lot of cast, a lot of, you know, actors. I'm thinking like Shane, Courtney, Keith, and uh, Noah. I think that's his name, Noah. And a Chinese lady. I can't remember her name. I think her name was Kim. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure her name was Kim. But anyway, still, like, they had a bigger budget. They had, like, all this type of stuff. But when Anthony left, you know, Smosh, and when the studio decided to shut down, they decided to have their Smosh, you know, creative stuff over to Good Mythical. Because I guess they're just good friends, I guess. Now, granted, though, I could make the right decision to sell my project to Smosh. But I also want to sell my project to Cinemassacre because, like, otherwise, I know they could do better content. They don't need to always upload the same AVGN episode. I know they can upload better content out there. I haven't looked into the drama of Cinemassacre yet, so I'm going to have to do this when I'm done with the video. But still, I feel like they're a good choice since they know about skits. They know how to do skits. They know how to do these types of things. I know they're good at editing and stuff. And I know that James Rolf, even though he has like kids now, I'm pretty sure I could like take over half of the SMLCU project from Cinemassacre. And we could like do a direction here and there, which is like new actors. We get like editors in here. Now, great to know, you may be wondering to yourself, why can't you have four actors? Why can't you, like, four, you know, editors? I don't have a job. At all. I don't have enough money. And I'm not going to set up a goddamn crowdfunding campaign. No. I am going to get a public performance license and an artist license. If that's possible. I think that's called an art license. I, I don't know. But still, whatever the case, I can't really afford that much. And I'm only going to afford much with the music stuff that I'm working on. Not the plushies. So I'm going to have to sell my project to either one of these two. It's either Cinemassacre or Smosh. Which one is going to take the bait? I don't know. So I'm going to have to make a poll on YouTube and I want your guys' opinion on who should take the SMLCU project. Should it be Cinemassacre or should it be Smosh? I will make the poll next week so you all guys know. I don't know what day that will be, but I'm pretty sure it will be easy. Anyways, guys, I'm Super Mario Jonathan, and I'm gone. Not literally, though, but uh, metaphorically.